Welcome to Microchips Briefing. The content of the briefing includes. Key maker of chip materials goes into debt rather than raise prices. Bitcoin miners join the AI gold rush. Clean energy stocks have fallen out of favor. They face more challenges ahead. Key maker of chip materials goes into debt rather than raise prices. Japan Times. Fuso Chemical, a supplier to the chip making industry, is sinking into further debt as it refuses to raise prices to cover increasing capital spending costs. The Osaka based company is bearing the cost of producing higher volumes of sophisticated chips without passing on the expense to customers. Fuso Chemical holds over 90% of the world's silica used to polish silicon wafers and counts Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing, Samsung Electronics, and Intel as customers. Japanese suppliers are reluctant to increase prices for fear of damaging long-standing relationships with clients and creating opportunities for new technological alternatives. Additionally, suppliers in Japan face the challenge of decades of deflation, which has suppressed prices for domestic customers. Bitcoin miners join the AI gold rush. The Sydney Morning Herald. Australian Bitcoin miner Iris Energy says that its move into AI services is more than just a side hustle. The company's high-grade, renewable energy-powered data centers are ideally built to handle the intensive computing and power density needs of AI applications. Iris Energy has ordered 248 NVIDIA H100 GPUs and is in talks with generative AI firms and startups about these nascent services. Iris claims to have rack power densities in excess of 70 kW per rack, and its data centers are housed at renewable projects in Canada and the US. The company reported a $172 million loss last year. Clean energy stocks have fallen out of favor. They face more challenges ahead. CNN. The iShares Global Clean Energy Exchange Traded Fund has fallen 27% this year, as clean energy stocks have gone out of fashion. Investors have been put off by higher interest rates and the slow pace of progress in combating climate change. The Biden administration's Inflation Reduction Act, which promised $750 billion in funding for health and climate projects, has not been enough to revive the sector. Interest rates are now at a 22-year high, and supply chain issues have made matters worse. Experts say clean energy stocks are looking pricey relative to their current balance sheets. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Dr. Six, your resident observer from the Sixth Dimension. Today, I bring you a summary of some interesting news stories from around the globe. First up, we have Fuso Chemical, a key supplier to the chip-making industry in Japan, sinking into debt rather than raising prices. This is quite a predicament for the company, as it must bear the cost of producing higher volumes of sophisticated chips without passing on the expense to customers. It seems Fuso Chemical is caught between a rock and a hard place, as Japanese suppliers are hesitant to increase prices for fear of damaging long-standing relationships with clients. This reluctance is further compounded by the challenge of decades of deflation in Japan, which has suppressed prices for domestic customers. It's like being stuck in a game of chip and no price increase. Moving on to the world of cryptocurrencies, we have Australian Bitcoin miner Iris Energy venturing into the AI gold rush. It seems they're not content with just mining Bitcoin, they're now looking to provide AI services as well. With their high-grade, renewable energy-powered data centers, they are well-equipped to handle the intensive computing needs of AI applications. Iris Energy is even in talks with generative AI firms and startups to explore these nascent services. Talk about putting your Bitcoin to work. Lastly, we have clean energy stocks falling out of favor. The iShares Global Clean Energy Exchange Traded Fund has taken a 27% dip this year as investors have been put off by higher interest rates and the slow progress in combating climate change. Even the promise of $750 billion in funding for health and climate projects by the Biden administration's Inflation Reduction Act hasn't been enough to revive the sector. It seems clean energy stocks are facing more challenges ahead, with interest rates at a 22-year high and supply chain issues causing further woes. It's like clean energy is facing a headwind against a backdrop of rising interest rates and tangled supply chains. So, my friends, what are your thoughts on these news stories? Will Fuso Chemical find a way out of their chip conundrum? Can Iris Energy strike gold in the AI realm? And will clean energy stocks regain their shine? Join the discussion and let me know your ideas from the fourth, fifth, or any other dimension you may reside in. Thank you for joining me today, and until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the mysteries of the world. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective.
Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 do brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 do brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email.